It took a long time, but that first day of the Barclays Premier League season finally arrived. We headed down to Highbury to join in the Arsenal pre-match tradition of a pie at Pybury Corner. I can say a Dennis Bergkamp is a good recommendation. And then we met up with Arsenal fan and football writer Laith Youssef. I, I leapt out of bed this morning. I woke my kids up. My kids always wake me up. I woke my kids up this morning. I was like, first day of the season, kids. Come on, you know, let's get into it. It's great. And my son, like William, is five years old. He's been to 10 Arsenal games. His first away game last year was ready to late. Arsenal are being annihilated here. He was looking at me. We were falling down after 20 minutes. And I was just like, what on earth have I subjected my son to, basically? And I looked at him and I was just like, completely crestfallen. He won 7 5. I've never seen 12 goals in a game in my life. And I literally threw him up. I threw him up in the air with a seventh goal. It was like, oh, it's quite a difficult catch. You know, it was a running catch almost. You know? it was like, the first game of the season, no matter what code it is, what, what sport it is, you think you're going to win the league this year. You think you're going to do really well. Until the end of that first game, endless possibilities exist, basically. So, yeah. But not all the home fans were as upbeat. We're starting the season now. The transfer window's been open since the end of last season. We've bought no players. It'd be nice to have a few new signings, but it hasn't happened, so we have to make do what we've got. We've had a really quiet, closed season in terms of transfers, so the potential for fans getting on the side's backs quite large if we don't have a good game. Regardless of what you think about Arsenal Wenger and Arsenal Football Club and all the transfer dealings, it was brilliant. It's just to wake up on the first day of the season and go, right, we've got an Arsenal game today. So after years of following Premier League football on television, we're finally getting to see our first game live. But what's going to happen in the game at the moment, we don't know. There's that pre-match tension. Can Arsenal score early and settle the nerves of all these fans? They did just that. Confidence was high. Unfortunately, it was short-lived as Villa scored on the second attempt from a penalty. Unfortunately for the Gunners fans, the second half didn't get any better. At the third goal, some fans chose to leave, while others stayed to make their feelings known to Arsene Wenger. Despite the loss, the intensity inside the stadium was incredible to be part of. And however upset the home fans might have been, you should be ashamed of yourself, Gazidis. At least Aston Villa went home happy.